Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Lisa from Potsy Fighter and I am back today with another video. Today I am showing you how to use food wrap to create awesome um, backgrounds. So I um, taped down a piece of heavy weight white cardstock and I am just sewing the page and I'm showing you a picture um, that um, of my dog that I actually wanted to scrap but um, it was lying on my desk so I took that as my color scheme and I went with red so here you're just seeing me putting down gesso and I was um, rather liberally with uh, the gesso because I knew that I would put on a lot of um, water this is also why I taped down the um, cardstock and I'm sorry my camera goes in and out of focus I'm really sorry I was moving my brush fast even I mean I sped up um, this process but here I um, moved it fast in real life too so I let dry um, the gesso I actually did use my heat gun to do that and I'm using a very big brush and just putting on clear water and I'm using a watercolor palette and I'm just scribbling on um, red um, watercolor and I'm doing that um, very messy and I at first just wanted to do that part so I'm just putting on um, food wrap and that is basically how easy it is and then I decided to do the bottom part too and um, you do have to uh, put on a lot of water um, I mean it doesn't have to swim but um, the more moisture you have the more um, wrinkling you can get out of kind of and so what I'm doing I'm putting down the food wrap and then I'm kind of smooshing the, it around with my hands and kind of like I'm um, trying to um, pull it up kind of I make that movement but obviously I'm not pulling it up and so I'm putting I'm doing that corner as well and just um, smooshing it around real good and then I I clean off the edges because it was quite messy so I moved it around a bit more and then I let it dry and here um, you can see that the, the page is or that the cardstock is pretty warped although I um, although I trimmed it or I taped it down sorry I just saw myself trimming down something so that's why I said trimming and here I was um, checking if it was dry already and it was so I just peeled up the food wrap very carefully and this is how it looks and I just love the look of it this is the second part obviously there's like a gap in the middle because I did <laughs> I did um, well two pieces of um, a food wrap because I decided only later that I wanted to do the bottom half as well so now I'm getting out my heat gun and I'm just drying it with my heat gun since the page uh, or since I put down a lot of water before um, actually using watercolors the the um, cardstock was a very very warped so I had to use my heat gun for quite a while and I did let it dry just like this for quite a while as well and um, I'm just um, trying to uh, to dry it and you can do um, like ombre style you can do um, you can do so many um, cool things with that and I really like the technique and you um, what what I think is look would look really really cool is if you would use pearlescent watercolor um, that would look amazing maybe even on black cardstock that would look great maybe I will do that um, one day and now I'm removing my masking tape so I can take um, take the page and dry it on the back as well because my table underneath was quite wet actually there was actually um, like little puddles of water because there was so um, so much water in used in the in this um, process 
And we're very carefully removing demasking tape. So careful because I don't want to rip the page because wet um, paper does get ripped quite easily. I learned that the hard way multiple times. <laughs> but I'm very, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like I don't like to wait. I can't think of the word right now. I'm sorry. So I'm drying it again with my heat gun and um, I think it might be dry now. So this is how it looks and I think it looks amazing. Look at all the detail I'm trying to focus. This is so cool. It looks so dimensional but it's not and you can do cards with it. You can do um, scrapbook um, backgrounds with it you can do so many things you can like DIY projects or for something else you can do so many things with that so that was my like kind of tutorial for you today hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time thank you so much for watching bye